Hi there, Mike. How's it going, Tapia? What you up to? It's going good on Ranima do a barbecue lol. Nice. Sorry, I meant I am at a barbecue. <laughs> okay. That's all good, man. Seems like every video I do is getting a copyright strike or getting taken down. Even with their broadcast mode on, and I've gone through and removed the songs that are being copyright strikes, but... They're still getting all taken down, so whatever, I don't know what the fuck to do, man. Other than just not stream this game. You know? I don't know if I'm getting fucking nailed on the lobby music or what the fuck now. You know, Gran Turismo is just totally full of shit, really, starting to think that way anyways. give my own video a like yeah <laughs> who knows man where the hell are my glasses <laughs> I can't see shit <sighs> I don't know man my eyesight's gotten really blurry this last couple days I don't know what the hell to do uh, it, went, it went really fast like I you know I thought maybe it would come back, but it hasn't come back yet. So I, uh, I tuned this up a little different. She's faster. It's got better brakes because it downshifts faster too. A lot more torque in the turns. I haven't tried it on this track, but uh, it's already looking pretty good.
I don't have any background music playing while racing, so I've got all that turned off, but the broadcast mode is still on. If I get another copyright strike, then it's fucking lobby music too, man. You know? I'm just bullshit. Well, I'm just gonna turn it all off. Fuck it. My Gran Turismo can eat a dick. second place on the second lap this car's uh doing pretty good uh, i downed the uh, transmission to 270 and the Tell thing's just me. hauling ass oh uh, yeah there's a weekly update you know just new whatever events for the week Hello, Michael and Tapia. hey how's it going bud I didn't do a weekly update video, but I did a sale video, so you can see what's on sale anyways. In the um, sale video, though, it does have all the details for the weekly update are in the description. <coughs> so yeah, you just click on the video description from the sale video, and it'll tell you everything that's going on this week. I mean, I could do weekly update videos the same time I do the sale video. But having to go in and capture video footage and transfer it back and forth between the PlayStation and the computer is a pain in the ass nowadays. I could just do the weekly uh, update video more like a slideshow, I suppose. It would be easy enough. Not like anybody's really all that interested in my Grand Theft Auto weekly update videos, so, you know. I just don't want to be the dude, you know, copy the, everybody else's shit where you're just standing around telling everybody what's what, you know, pointing at the podium car and fucking whatever. There's nothing original about that. But some people don't like change, man. They just like what they're already used to, so that's fine. So we got uh, first place here on lap three, and the tune on this car is pretty good. I use this car now for all of my endurance races, all of them. The 600 performance point on Circuit de la Sarthe, you can do this with, or what is it, the 700 performance point, and uh, Sardega and Franco Champs, you can do it with this, there's no problem. The only one I haven't been able to do is the Tokyo for 600, I'm still looking for a car on that. I bought the cappuccino. Uh, can't say I'm all too excited about that. And then I went and watched the Black Panther's video about, you know, how this is the fastest car in Gran Turismo. Like that Black Panther guy, man, he's so full of shit, dude. Like, I can't fucking believe anybody even subscribes to that guy. He's got two million subscribers and all his videos are bullshit. It's fucking lame. <laughs> straight lying to everybody about shit, just fake hype, you know. He does the same thing with the crew too, just garbage, man. Oh, whatever. It's all good. So yeah, this has got a proper tune on it. If you tune your McLaren GR1 down to 270 kilometers per hour on the transmission you just haul ass through everything and it's got so much gas you don't even have to pit so yeah 
What's going on, Devoni? Welcome back. Like on this track, I've got... Did you get good sleep? Yeah, I did. I got a really good sleep. And I just got all my laundry done. I got a shitload of food in the fridge. Things are looking good, man. I'm, I'm getting myself set up. I'm gaining some weight. Fucking eating properly, man. I got a bunch of healthy stuff. Some salads, some fruit, and vegetables and stuff. Doing all right. Except when I went to my to see my doctor yesterday, he's like, uh, yeah, you don't have to wear a mask, man. We're all good. And then he's like, I got COVID, so, you know, you're vaccinated, right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got COVID now, again. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate that. The symptoms are going to kick in here in about a week. Hopefully I don't die. Without a doubt, when you're in a little doctor's room, or a little uh, fucking, you know... Yeah. I doubt it. Well, my doctor had it, and I spent fucking 20 minutes with him in a tiny little fucking office. You know, examining room, then yeah, I've got it. <laughs> and I'm not vaccinated, so... Wish me luck. Yeah. Well, he wanted to show me these uh, CT pictures of my brain scan. And uh, now he's got me going in for some other thing where they're, I don't know what they're doing, but something to do where they put all the little diode things on your head and they do like brain scan readings and shit to see what's working and what's not. But apparently my fucking brain looks like it's been shot with a shotgun, man. It's full of little fucking holes in it this riddled with them I lost count he was pointing them all out to me and I lost count when he got over 12 and he was like going through a slideshow like this is one section this is another section and he's like let's see this white spot here and and no it's he called it a microvascular disease microvascular brain disease so he says I'm gonna have dementia pretty soon and, uh, so yeah, nothing like some good news. I'm gonna be fucking in a wheelchair, drooling out of the side of my face in a couple of years, man, so. Yeah. Who knows? I was, you know, I could tell, like, like, I'm not being able to play video games very well. I was having a hard time telling what day it is, keeping schedules. I'm trying to make videos, and I can't remember how to use my software. You know, I was, I was having a lot of problems with stuff, you know? <laughs> but uh yeah now it all makes sense i mean i i kind of knew anyways i knew there was something wrong you know but now it's just been confirmed right it's just yeah i knew there was something wrong he says my brain is about as old as somebody in their late 80s and my lungs are as old as somebody who's basically I'm, my lungs are a person who's about 100 years old you know, the next, he hasn't said anything about my liver, but I think there's a problem there, too. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know how long I got with you guys, man, but it's been good. Yeah, I'm older than my dad, for fuck's sakes. That's freaking me out. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't talked to anybody in my family about it, and I'm pretty sure they don't give a fuck anyways, so... Just you guys, you guys are the only people I've talked to about it, so... That's it. But, you know, he says the best thing I could do is quit smoking. He says that'll help. For sure. So, I still have cigarettes for some reason. I uh, haven't really been smoking them. So, I still have some. But once they're gone, 
then I'm on the patch. And I got a month's supply of patches, and I got nicotine gum. Is what squished you? I don't know, man. It's in my head. All you can see are scans from the CT scan, so it takes like slice sections. And then in the, each photo, you can see where you've had um, strokes. And what he's pointed out is that I've had more than 20 strokes. Like there's small strokes that I'm having in, in my head. And uh, so your blood vessels rupture inside your brain. And uh, it causes your brain cells in that area to all die off, you know? So yeah, it's not, uh, it's not a good thing. It interferes with, you know, the electrical conductivity, right? So you have electrical impulses that travel through your brain that, you know, make your heart beat, shit like that. <laughs> And now they have to take alternate routes. So things get kind of weird after a while. Anyways, sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I can always delete the first 20 minutes of this video. It, yeah, for those of you guys that are wondering why I'm not streaming as much, or why I'm not uploading as many videos. Yeah, you know, I guess so. But I mean, it does explain, you know, why I'm like, you know, just haven't been myself lately. This last six months, I just haven't been me. I don't actually know. I'd say this all started about the same time I started the YouTube channel. Really, because prior to that, I was still pretty much okay. But I noticed in the time that I've been doing this YouTube channel that, you know, I seemed like I was fighting with myself. It started going downhill pretty quick. I mean, it could have been way worse, I guess. Yeah, it always can be. I've got pretty good genes in my family, though. Like, nobody dies of cancer in my family, interestingly. We all seem to die from alcohol abuse. <laughs> we all drink too much, so I guess that's the problem. <laughs> on both sides, on my mom's side and on my dad's side, both of my grandfathers have died from alcohol. Oh no, actually no, on my mom's side, my grandfather did die from cancer, actually. My dad is an alcoholic. Well, that happens with age, man. You've got a government that's pushing that shit on you your entire life, dude. You know, like, sooner or later, you're gonna end up fucking drinking. You know? Socially, even. You know, it just becomes one of those things that's involved in social events as an adult. You know, you go over to a house party, a barbecue, whatever, somebody's handing you a drink. You know? It's just so common. You're in a business meeting even, and people are handing you drinks. You know, it's just... It's just been a pain in the ass. I, I never liked alcohol. I fucking hated this shit. I used to get sick and have room spins on like two beers. Throwing up all over the place. But, uh, eventually I developed a tolerance for it. Oh. Hey, toys. How's everybody doing today? So I got some sleep. I haven't had a cup of coffee, but, you know, I could have a cup of coffee. And then, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll be better. You know what I got? I got Prozac. <laughs> supposed to take away the grouchiness in me. Label as an alcoholic, but she drank like a crazy person, but she doesn't drink a lot anymore. She's really never drunk anymore. Oh, yeah, well, that's good. 
<coughs> I can't drink any alcohol or smoke any cigarettes for three months. Dude, I got a 51 second lead on these guys. The new settings I put on this car just kick ass. I got three laps left and it's just starting to rain. <coughs> yep, there's that COVID starting to kick in, man. So yeah, I am um, doing some endurance races if anybody wants to come and play with me. We're, uh, we're good. If anybody wants to do an endurance race. Well, we're going to be changing our tires after this lap. Tires are already looking pretty rough here. We're nine laps in on them. Doesn't look like it's raining too hard, though. Still, of course, I say something. There we go. It's going to have a little heavy wet rain. There's not a lot. Yes. Penalty. Damn it. Where the hell is the... I got a one minute lead, so... I think I'm alright here. Doing alright. We got a pit. Yeah, so if anybody's wondering where it all the race last day and it didn't rain on whole race did the same race today and it started to rain lap seven. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I keep doing Gran Turismo videos and they keep getting the copyright strikes and taken down, so I don't know what the fuck. It doesn't look I look at my channel and there's like ten missing videos in the last few days. So that's great. So I've turned off all the music. Uh, in regards to racing music and stuff. The only thing that's left on now is the menu music. 
And if I get copyrights for menu music, then that's the next thing I'm turning off. There'll be no more menu music either. But it's total bullshit. Gran Turismo tells you that with broadcasting mode, you're safe from copyright strikes when you're not. Total bullshit. I should make a video just about that in itself. Warning streamers not to use their broadcasting mode because it's a blatant fucking lie. Yep. Yeah, they, they specifically copyrighted that song, multi that song multiple times, man. Every time you heard it, that was my video getting taken down. And that song was made for Gran Turismo, so I'm not sure. I'm thinking, like, doesn't Sony own the rights to that shit? And who's this fucking guy, you know, copywriting it? When, you know, sure, it's his song, but I think he sold the rights to Sony. But he's still copywriting it? You know, like, fuck off. Right? You know? Yeah. Well, even YouTube's manual review, I'm still getting copyright strikes, so. Sony wants to have a broadcasting mode, there's a way to do that. You have to register your songs with YouTube as copyright free music. Fuck. Otherwise, don't tell people it's fucking copyright free if it isn't. You know, take the damn broadcast mode off, because it's a fucking lie, is what that is. It's a straight fucking lie. You know, I already mentioned it before, that Gran Turismo wants copyright-free music. YouTube has a library of thousands of copyright-free songs that they can download and make into radio stations. And uh, we can listen to whatever frickin' genre of music we want to listen to, completely copyright-free. <coughs> so. And it's all free music. They don't even have to pay artists to make the music. It's just sitting there, free, to use. There may be some stipulation about using it for commercial application, but who knows? I mean, isn't that what we're all doing in the first place, is using it for our videos in a commercial application? So, I believe they're just not allowed to resell the music, that's all. But they can certainly have it as a radio stations in the video game. <coughs> and then you don't have to worry about copyright strikes. And we've got a lot more than 12 songs to listen to. I like all of these endurance races. You know, when they put the animation in though for this one, I thought they were gonna do that for all of the races, but this is the only race that has a pit animation when you're rolling in and out. I don't know, man. All I know is their broadcast mode doesn't fucking work, so I'm not using it anymore. Gran Turismo music can fucking pound salt, man. Not interested in ever hearing it ever again. Music wasn't even that great in the first place. But, you know, I thought, you know, wow, this is the first and only video game where I can actually listen to music, you know, while racing. But no, that's not the case, man. They fucking lied to me and I feel like I got ripped off because of it, so. I've got almost a hundred hours of fucking content that's been taken down because I use their fucking broadcast mode. So, not cool.
I learned my lesson. Now, I still have the lobby music on. If I get another copyright strike during lobby for lobby music, then that's going too. There won't even be the classic lobby music anymore. And if I still get problems from this shit, I'll stop using my microphone. And then I'll just use text-to-speech and you can all talk to Siri. <laughs> you know, I've done that before too. Or I'd like, if I want to listen to music, I will listen to Spotify, I'll shut off my microphone, and uh, that'll be that. I'll just fucking use the, the double tap the function button and I'll talk into the mic and Siri can speak on my behalf. But if Gran Turismo doesn't want people to uh, live stream their game, that's definitely one way to get them to stop. Yeah, no shit, right? And there goes all my videos. That would just wipe out my whole channel. You know, I'd leave it to PlayStation to do something like that too, right? They go and copyright the voice that they use for the fucking text-to-speech and then copyright strike millions of people's videos. <laughs> Hundreds of millions of videos. Yeah, they'd make themselves a nice little bit of money on that. Maybe I can apply for copyright on that fucking music, on that Siri voice. <laughs> and then copyright strike everybody's videos. Nine minutes left. It is not raining anymore, but the ground is still wet. So I think I'm okay. But this car is just hauling ass. I've hit twice and I'm still a minute ahead of everybody. So I tuned the transmission down to 270. And, um,. It was well below the 700 points, so I was able to add more horsepower to the car and lighten it a bit more. And I tuned it down to 220 for Circuitella Sarth, and it tops out at 230. But same thing, you know, your acceleration is so good that you just blow everybody off the map. You know, you kind of hold your own in the straightaways, but everything else, you just flying away from everybody, so. This car is like, wins all of these endurance races, no problem. Except for the 600 one, I still haven't found a car for that race, so. Well, I do not know what to do about that race. I get everybody's using the, the Tomahawk on that, but. I'm still looking for a 600 car that kicks some ass. This is the McLaren GR1. A VGT GR1. There's two of them, they look exactly the same. One's the GR1 and one is not a GR1. But the GR1 you can tune down low enough. The GR1 also has nitrous on it. And the GR1 can join GR1 races where the other one can't. So the GR1 is definitely the better car of the two. Yeah. 
I have it. I got the McLaren GR3 and for... I don't know if they have a GR2 in McLaren. I don't think they do. These endurance races are my favorite races, and I'm getting filthy rich playing them. I almost have 20 million dollars. I think after this I'll have probably 18 or 19 million. They, um, every time I turn around, they seem to be adding more legendary cars, or legend cars keep popping in, and, uh, like mid-afternoon time. I should go take another look, they might have added another one today. Nice. I've got, like, there's still more VGT cars for me to buy, but I'm looking for the ones that still have first-person views on them. I think I bought all, of your, all the VGT cars that have first-person view, but I'll take another look. Do a little bit more shopping. I don't understand why my PlayStation 5 doesn't have a media player. Like, why can't I put my own music on my PS5 and listen to my own fucking music while I'm playing video games? Or am I wrong? Is there something that I don't know about? Is there a program or something that I'm missing? Because I know we have a media player, you know, but it doesn't let me listen to music, I don't think while I'm playing a video game, it's like its own app. Because if that's the case, then I could, you know, literally download whatever songs I like from the YouTube, you know, copyright free music and then I could make my own playlist and then I can listen to that shit without having copyrights. You know, if I was getting hundreds of thousands of views, I would be pissed right the fuck off with these copyright strikes. But really, I'm only losing like a penny every time a video gets taken down, so it's not that big of a deal other than it's just, you know, I don't have my content up there. People don't, people, when they look at the channel, it doesn't look like I'm fucking doing anything. Because the videos keep getting taken down, right? So Instead of seeing that I've done three live streams in one day, they see that three days have gone by and I haven't done anything.
Well, I slept like a log last night, man. I got a good night's sleep. Myself a big ass salad. Oops. sure what I feel like eating actually I got too much op too many options now <laughs> <coughs> I gotta no In and out of the pit, and the timer's still the same. That's weird. I'm still one minute, 30 seconds ahead of everybody. Oh, yeah. This car's just got really good gas mileage, man. It handles and drives really good. It's got great visibility and first-person cockpit view. And it's fast enough to win all the races that I'm doing, so, yeah. Uh-oh. I probably shouldn't have put the racing hard tires on. Oh, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> Different sections have more water than others, apparently. Because this here looks fine. <laughs> Car damage. And here comes the rain again. Shit. That looks like a pretty solid rain cloud. So far ahead of everybody though, I mean, it's no problem to, to pit as often as you want. <laughs> 
somehow I only lost two seconds in the pit. One second. Coming out of the pit three seconds faster than I went in. Oh no, there we go, now it dropped. I did hit some cars on this track in the race, but still got clean race bonus. Oh yeah, I know. I um I don't think you can lose the clean clean race bonus, honestly. You know, I've done ridiculous shortcuts, I've crashed into people, I've flown off the map. Still get the clean race bonus. So All of these endurance races are good money. Sardega is good, Circuit del Sarth, Franco Champs. The only one I haven't been able to do is Tokyo. Just don't have a fucking 600 car for that, man. You know? Just what the hell. I'm not interested in doing it with the Tomahawk, so... I don't know, Gran Turismo was like trolling us, they gotta give us a car to do it with, other than the Tomahawk. <laughs> right? Because it's one of my favorite tracks as well, but I, you know... Just can't win that race at 600 performance points. Maybe they'll change it to 700. It's just too fast. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's just an overpowered car that's being used for game exploits, right? So it's not how I uh, imagined myself playing this game, so I'm not going to use it. But I have to say, I am using this uh, McLaren a little too much. How's it going again, Javier? Welcome back. Thank you everybody for the likes. How's the barbecue? Are you having steaks, burgers, sausages? What are you having? Barbecue seafood? Well, that's what happens. Drive them home like Gran Turismo style, man. Drive it like you stole it. <laughs> that's a tilapia. <laughs> tapia, I think, is a pudding. <laughs> I think tapia is a pudding. Tapia pudding. <laughs> No, that's tapioca. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> tapioca pudding. <laughs> and then the tilapia fish. Or maybe tapia is a fish. I don't know. No, tilapia. Yeah.
No, I'm enjoying Cyberpunk too. Like I'll uh, I'll go and play that game. I get into it, you know, and then it's hard to put down. I start playing it, you know. With my female character, I haven't played through the main story yet. So, but she's level 45 or something, I think, almost. I gave her a new hairstyle and new tits. <laughs> All right. You want to lose weight, the easiest thing to do is eat foods that take more energy from you to digest than they give you in return. And you can literally lose weight just by eating. Yeah. Like it, carrots, for example, have, are very low in calories, but take up a lot of energy to digest. So not only are you not getting a lot of calories coming in, but you're expending energy to digest the food. Raw vegetables are a big key in that. So, yeah. Broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, you know, a little bit of dip, a little ranch dressing, and a little some dip, and uh, they're pretty good actually, you know. Popcorn, popcorn as long as you don't put a bunch of fucking fatty shit all over it. Right. Well, there's not much they can do for me, man. <laughs> well, somebody talked to you, gave me a bunch of Prozac. He said, here, this will help you feel better. <laughs> he says it'll take about two weeks for it to start to work. And I'm like, okay. Well, I took one last night and that's where I got so tired I had to go to sleep. He said, if either you take it and it's gonna make you tired and you go to sleep, and that's the case, take it when you go to bed or take one in the morning with a meal. But uh, I, I think that taking it before I go to sleep seems to work fine. <laughs> and I'll be in a better mood, a little bit more social, less bitchy, hopefully. But a lot of that's got to do with the... Uh, Yeah. Thank you for liking the stream. I've never really done dieting, but I've also never really been big on eating either, you know? Eating was never really a big thing for me, except for potato chips. I like potato chips, but I don't have any. The fucking potato chips. I'm back to $5 a bag for potato chips again. Yeah. I'm back at that place where the fucking potato chips are $5 a bag, man. <laughs> I want potato chips. I got to drive 200 kilometers for the 99 cent bags of chips, <laughs> which are now $1.30. <laughs> Even those 99 cent bags of chips went up 30% in price, man. So, yeah. Chips are expensive. They are now. I got lots of crackers and cheese. But I got some weird cheeses and I don't know what kind what to really do with them. So yeah. I have some brie. I don't know what the fuck to do with brie. You know? And I've got some other cheese. Weird stuff.
There's lots of benefits in eating nuts too. So like if you eat walnuts and stuff, um, that's really healthy for you. <coughs> well, that's where I'm at too, right? Our dollar store here is the same shit, you know? Everything at the dollar store has gone up 50%. So what was a dollar is now a dollar fifty. Or it's gone up to two dollars. And now it's the two dollar store. <laughs> it's like, you know? It's not a dollar store anymore, it's a two dollar store. 350 gram chips is about three dollars. Yeah. Well, out here, there's no name brand potato chips at the supermarket. They used to be 200 gram bags for 99 cents. And now they're a dollar thirty. <laughs> you know, which still isn't bad, but you know, there's other places here. A 250 gram bag of like, you know, chips, for five fucking dollars, and they're almost they're going up. Strangely, the ski resort they didn't raise their prices compared. Everybody else raised their prices, but there are some really fucked up things in the ski resort though. Like, one salmon filet that sells for fucking two dollars at the grocery store? Yeah, like I can go to the grocery store and I can buy a little package of uh, four skinless, boneless salmon filets and they cost ten bucks for the four of those. I come to the ski resort to buy one, what they've done is they bought the same package and took the four out and now to buy one of these salmon filets is ten bucks for one. <laughs> this is like, I just started laughing, you know, like, oh my god. Okay, I get it, yeah, if you're a tourist, you wouldn't know, but still. I'm gonna find out in the first week of July whether I've got this place for uh, to live at year round, and if I do get it, yeah, for what? No shit, man. I'm actually thinking about that. You know, I was thinking about buying a fishing rod, going fishing, man. Might not be a bad idea. I know my dad's got a whole bunch of fishing gear, and he's like 85. He should give it to me. I want all of his fishing gear. He's fucking too old. <laughs> He's not using it. Fishing is peaceful. Yeah. Although I do kind of feel bad about killing the fish and eating it. I don't mind if somebody else has killed it. You know, because then me, I figure, well, you know, it's dead already. You know, at least I can do is make it useful. <laughs> But that if I can killing it, then, you know, I kind of feel like I'm going to get some bad karma out of that. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. Spiders, on the other hand, they're fucking dead. I do not like spiders. <laughs> yeah, if I can see a Spider-Man, he's dead. He's so dead. What's really creepy, though, is I've told spiders they're not allowed in my house, and they leave. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I like look at the spiders and listen, you're not allowed in here. You have to go. And they leave. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah. I had a cat that took care of all the spiders um, when I had the cat, and the dog watched it. And then when I lost the cat, the dog took over, and the dog goes after the spiders and the wasps and bees and stuff. It's crazy, my dog will just bite a wasp out of midair, man. Or it'll find a wasp on the window, and it'll go in there and it'll just munch on it, man. And you can tell it's getting stung in the mouth, 
The dog's like, he's <laughs> still biting it. <laughs> My dog eats the fucking wasps. <laughs> it's protecting me. I used to have like I used to be terrified of bees. Yeah. Some people actually eat bugs I know. You know. I've seen a tribe in um, Africa. They actually catch flies with nets. Cost in normal place about 150 grams, 8.5 in the ski resorts about 15.5 dollars for a 150 gram hamburger herd. Mm. Yeah, I paid about twenty dollars for a hamburger and fries out here. But um, yeah, I saw this tribe in Africa. They cut like they catch a whole shitload of flies with a net, and then they smash them into a burger patty, and then they fry them up like a fucking burger patty, man. Yeah. Nineteen million two hundred nineteen thousand. I'm rich. <laughs> I am so rich. See, now by doing that race, I went a whole hour without smoking. <laughs> <coughs> Nineteen. And change. Exactly. Because I enjoy playing the game. That's the difference. Like if you're just game exploiting, you're not even playing the game. You're just fucking hating your you're hating the game and just buying the stuff. So how the hell is that any fun? Yeah, okay. I don't want to know what they make our protein shakes out of. There's also protein in nuts. But uh, you should add nuts to your diet. Almonds, walnuts, things like that. The oils from the nuts are really healthy for you. Not peanuts though, but like... Almonds are good. Walnuts are really good. I don't know about pistachios and that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the salty fucking chocolate nuts. <laughs> There's, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, same with berries, you know, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, all that shit's good for you, too. I didn't know this place had a blender, but I found the blender, but I don't have any frozen berries or fruit to make smoothies with. be on my list of things to buy. <coughs> After my car gets fixed, of course, I now no longer have a car. I can't drive it. So they're going to come and tow it off the mountain here next week. And I'm going to get a rental car. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to get, but it'll be a rental. And it better damn well be good on gas. <laughs> Cause my car's broken. The suspension got fucked up when I drove out here. I hit a pothole and I ripped out the fucking suspension in the back of my car. 
And I didn't know I could cover that under my insurance, but apparently it's all covered under my insurance. So I filed an insurance claim today, and uh, they're going to fix it. <laughs> they have to fix it, so I get a brand new suspension on my car, which is fucking awesome. I think. Or good enough anyways, you know. Are you gonna throw it off the cliff now? Maybe. You never know. I mean it's it's worth so much it's worth three times what I paid for it. <laughs> I get an insurance claim on that, man, I'm three times richer than I was when I bought it. <laughs> I don't know. I could actually get a down payment on a house for the fucking price of the car. <laughs> Hmm. Sardega? Did we do Sardega? Well, if I do Sardega, that'll put me over 20 million. Or should I do Circuit de la Sarth? What do you think? Circuit de la Sarth or Sardegan Degnana Degna Dar Sardegan Three times more than they used to be. The price of used cars have gone through the fucking roof out here. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, it's crazy. I bought my car actually only for six grand plus taxes. Worked out to around seventy five hundred bucks. And then I put on some new tires for another fifteen hundred. So I spent about I spent about nine grand on my car, and now my car is worth twenty grand. <laughs> like what? I've had it for six months. The thing's worth twenty fucking grand. <laughs> you know. So I'm all, all right. Well, it's not bad. But it's a rare car. They don't make them anymore, right? You can't buy these brand new. So it's a rare car for one. There's hardly any of them out there. And from what I've seen, I've probably got one of the lowest mileage on this particular car in all of Canada. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Dino, I have. You say you go and look on used cars or legendary cars in game. Oh yeah. Do you have ten thousand dollars? Not anymore. Nope. Nope. I just have a fucking tiny little pension now that I'm getting by on, which is pretty fucked. works out to about a million bucks over 30 years. Actually, a million dollars every 15 years. Well, it's not that bad. But it's not great either. You should try to save up. Yeah, I'm working on that, but... I reduced my cost of living down incredibly to like the lowest it's ever been. And uh, now, if I go get a job, whatever I make in that job, I don't need that money. All that money I make with a job just goes right into my savings. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. I'm going to grab a, maybe I'll work in retail or something out here at the ski hill for the summer. And I'll just do, I'll rent mountain bikes to people that are doing the downhill mountain biking. And I'll probably get access to a free season pass for the mountain biking. And I'll get a free bike to use when I want to. And so I'll be able to do some downhill mountain biking over the summer for free which will be fucking dope. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some downhill mountain biking. Go get money, Michael. And, uh, and I'll be able to put some money in the bank too. And if they give me the place year round, then I can also carry that job over into the winter and I can uh, do ski rentals. And I'll work in the ski shop and I'll just uh, you know help people with their ski rentals. And I'll get a free, sea, a free ski pass for the season. And I'll get free skis, and I'll be able to go skiing for free. So these are all bonuses, if I can get them to let me have the place year-round. And uh, with that comes a whole healthy lifestyle, because you get all the athleticism of downhill mountain biking, and all the athleticism of skiing, plus the bonus of being able to put money away. <laughs> right? Well, I'll, uh, I'll, be, I'll be looking pretty good here in a, in a year. If they, if they give me a yes on the rental, in July, I'll know, and then if they do, then I am going to go get a fucking job out here. So I bought this. I don't know, I got these two, I think, from the cafe, because I don't recall buying them. I bought this for five million, which, I don't know. This I'm curious about. Yeah. 
I don't know, these mountain bikes that we rent over here, they're like $10,000 fucking mountain bikes, man. It's crazy how shit. This one guy came with a fucking carbon fiber mountain bike for $27,000, man. I remember looking at his fucking bike. Like, holy shit, dude. Who the fuck spends $27,000 on a bicycle? <laughs> you know, like, give my head a shake. But, okay. <laughs> you know, all right, you got money. We got it. We understand. Two hundred and fifty horsepower, man! Like, come on. Some of these cars. For yeah, maybe a. I'd buy a Ducati before I buy a fucking bicycle, you know, for twenty grand or twenty-five grand for fuck's sakes. Like, without a doubt, right? Oh, I did a lot of bike riding when I was younger, man. Fuck, I used to ride like 100 kilometers a day on my mountain bike. I almost rode a mountain bike from Calgary to Vancouver. You know. Pretty crazy. I could have done it, no problem, honestly. They've got a, a trail now that goes all the way across Canada, from the Pacific Ocean all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. It's a hiking trail and cycling, for hiking and cycling. It's fucking crazy, man. And there's all these little camping spots along the way, so... You do like 10k, 20k a day, and then you have set up camp, and we chill. Hmm. Can't wide body this thing. No, it's fine. It does not have, doesn't need it. Does it? Does it? Doesn't need that, did it? No. See, body rigidity is in excellent condition. It does not need it, man. No need for that. So, so what should we do? Circuit de la Sarth or Sardengena? Sardegena, Sardet, Sardegena, or Circuit de la Sarth. Le Mans, or, I don't even know how the fuck to say that. Sardegena, Sardegena, <laughs> Sardegena. And maybe the G is silent, Sardega, no, maybe, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't bet. What do you think? Unless somebody wants to race with me, then I'll go to a public lobby and then we'll fucking set up a race in there. But, I don't know. Or, uh, Circuit de la Sarth, the 24 hour Le Mans. It's Le Mans or Sardegna. <laughs> this one's got rain. This one's got no rain. Rain or no rain. France it is.
<clears throat> All right, let's do this. What the fuck? Oh, we're in France. Oh, we're in France. We need France. Hey, what happened? What did I delete? Oh, there we go. This is the one. I need to edit that one. Oops. This doesn't have the top speed for the straightaway, but it's good for everything else. And you have to pit every two laps anyways, so you're fine with the rain tires. Oops. Well, there goes my front end. I know, I, I guess I cut a corner somewhere. These penalties don't affect my uh, ability to win though. I've done these races with like a minute penalties, I still win them. But I'm racing with rain tires is the only way I could get this car into the 600 or the 700 performance points is to play in with rain tires. So, that's what I got. So you gotta pit every two laps. And since you got rain tires on, well, then I've already got the tires on the car. <laughs> Perfect. No. It's just that I can't have anything other than rain tires. So I'm always, you know, the tires only last two laps. And that's it. And then you got to replace them. Nice. But I can use this car for all the endurance races except for the 600 one. just it's top speeds at 230 so it's got good acceleration but no top speed but 
Everybody else is topping out at 250, so it's not really that far behind. And you see how quickly those gears change? So you can slow down really quickly. Your gears just drop so fast that slowing down isn't a big deal. Yeah. Well, somebody asked me if I could get this car into the 700, and I, I, I dicked around with it, and that's basically what I came up with. But on this track, almost every time you finish the second lap, it starts raining. So you're going to have to pit anyways, regardless of what your tires are. You still have to pit and put on the rain tires. So the second lap I put on, I put on new tires, and I just keep going. but its traction is like in these corners, I've got a lot of torque, so I'm able to make those corners pretty nicely. It's got good handling. Don't you have rain tires already? Yeah, they're already on, but they're not gonna be any good by the time I do the second lap. So you gotta change the tires every two laps. So with that, you don't even have to turn down your, your fuel consumption. You can run your fuel on high as well. Yeah, oh, I'm only in third at this point. Got that Viper ahead of me. The highest suspension, the page is gals down. Yep. Well, I'm not really sure. Like they keep messing. Like the the performance points are all kind of confusing now. So sometimes you're dropping your suspension and the points are going down. Sometimes they go up. I don't know. It's weird. Well, whatever. Not making a whole lot of sense. https colon slash slash discord dot gg slash four rsxf three e and the highest back wing settings lower the pages point two. Yep. Reduce downforce and height. <coughs> that also wrecks your traction too though, right? So comes the rain, the end of lap two. So I was gonna have to pit anyways, right? 
that viper's not gonna pit and he's gonna get stuck in the rain and then I'm gonna pass him. on this car in this race the sway bar settings to the highest lower pages points too all right i got it set at 270 for the other two races with racing hard tires at the 700 points but this one i just dropped it down to 220 and it brought the performance down low enough i'm still all right though i've always won even with this settings so it's all good I'm 30 seconds behind that Viper, but that Viper's gonna have to pit. And now he's the Viper's running a slow lap. not much water on the ground though it's probably not slowing them down that much gain much. I've only gained three seconds on that Viper. But the Viper is going to go in the pit this round. Pretty sure. I still haven't seen any lightning or heard any thunder in these rainstorms yet in Gran Turismo. Maybe there is no thunder and lightning in France. <laughs> or Italy.
Yeah, that viper's going in the pit. Oh. Yeah, viper's in the pit now. That viper didn't grab any gas. Oh, no, he's still in there. And I'm back in first. But I got to pit again next lap. Well, now I've only got a 16 second lead, but hopefully I can get up to 30 by the end of this course, and then I'll switch out my tires. But at these speeds, you're not really losing control of your car either in the rain. Like, you're pretty safe to go full speed ahead in the rain at this at 325 with not, no issues. Even in through the heavy wet rain. I just gained five seconds on everybody. Out of the rain. It's possible that could be it for the rain. But there's still too much water on the ground to switch over. Oh, I can't put racing hard on this car anyways. So even changing my tires, oh shit. I'll still put on racing wet or whatever, intermediate. But there's enough water on the road that I'll still need them. So, it's all good. Yeah, I've never run that. I, I know in Gran Turismo 6, like you, if your tires went all red, you'd basically pop them. And then you'd have no tires, and then you wouldn't be able to drive. So I don't know if you can do that with this game or not. So this was the number two selling game in March. But it came out halfway through the month. 
so I think this would probably still be the number one selling game for April. Maybe. I don't know. But a lot of people bought this game. You know? A lot of people bought this game. I got a 46 second lead going into the pit. So I should come out and I'll still be in first. <laughs> Too bad there's no animation of the car coming in the pit on this race. Oh well. Still more rain coming. I might have wanted to put heavy wet tires on this, because that looks like a heavy cloud. minute and a half ahead of everybody. I'm only running the heavy wet tires to any of the cars in this game. I only use the inter tires. Oh. Well, when your water bar gets over um, the three quarter mark, it turns to blue water on the top. And that's when you need your heavy wet tires. Once the water mark gets over the two thirds mark. But you can get by with just intermediates. But because of the water on the road, I'm, my tires are brand new after this lap, so this is good. I've got a full tank of gas and good tires. I only need to do one more lap. Maybe two, I'm running these laps too fast. But I can still get two more laps out of these tires because they didn't take any damage.
Because this should be my last lap. That's probably a penalty. Still three minutes left. I'm going too fast. I might have to do another lap. Kawakani has the fastest lap at 4.43, but I look at my lap times, 4.36, you know, 4.29, 4.31. Not even. To races is a little random, I think in my last race in this race the track was dry out completely and sometimes wet. Yeah, it's random, they randomized it, but it's still relatively predictable. You know, I haven't seen any thunder or lightning or snow. <laughs> yeah, just saying. But I guess it probably doesn't snow in France. And Australia is probably just going into their winter. Two seconds. <sighs> oh. 
but in Spa 24, one hour's race, one time it didn't rain in the whole race. Yeah, I had that too. Like it just sprinkled for like a minute and then it didn't rain. That's the first time I've had 20 grand in the bank. <laughs> first time for 20,000. Yay! Wait, I gotta use the can. I'll be right back. Twenty thousand dollars. Credits, credits. Twenty thousand credits.
We'll see if I got any friends online to play with, man. I don't think I have any. I go in and I don't have any friends to play with. <laughs> Which is weird because I've got like 43 people in the game that are following me. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, where are they? <laughs> Damn it. What does it say, followers? Ooh, I moved up to a level C sportsmanship rating. I don't know if that's good or bad. I did buy the McLaren and the Lamborghini 1 million car, but don't like Lamborghini that much. Yeah. I think the McLaren was the better choice. I've been using it to win all these races, man. I've made 1 million, 100 and 115 million so far in this game now. And climb it. It doesn't say how many people are following me anymore. I used to say that. Oh, yeah, there was 43 followers. Group three. Trail Mountain. No tuning. Let's see who's in here. Yes, McLaren is better, but I won back my money and some, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I haven't even raced this car. I'm disappointed that it's a right-hand drive, though. And there's an AS player in here, so he's going to kick our asses. No tire wear, no fuel issues. Racing soft required, no nitro. Shortcut weak, car collision on, wall collision weak. All right. No driving line, apparently. I can't see the road, damn it. <laughs> I need to adjust my driver's seating position. I can't see the road. <laughs> it was hit. I don't know how to adjust my driver's seating position. Hold on. Uh, settings, controller settings, temporary exposure, display settings. As I didn't see. Driver name, display ghost, display. They kicked me out. Oh, wow. So much for joining my friend's lobby. They fucking kicked me out. Thanks for that.
I don't know that truck very well. I always fuck that truck up. They kicked me out because I had a better car. A fucking guy, right? I show up with the two million dollar fucking GR3 and he's like, nope, that guy's not playing with us. <laughs> Some pro fucking racer that guy was. Fuck. How am I able to... Oh. Yeah, alright. I didn't set fucking GR1 on the race. Damn it. Fuck. Just in case somebody starts kicking my ass. <laughs> This is Daytona setting.
What? Oh, 892. I went up fucking on a point somehow by dropping my fucking. What's going on, Tapia? Alright. what my top speed's going to be at. I'm only getting four laps on power mode. Seventy. Two seventy. All right, we're gonna have to change that up.
I guess, yeah, like they've changed everything, right? So I don't have the ability to, change, you know, retune all 100 of my cars now, so I'm just using the same car and tuning it for most shit. Five laps. Four and a half, five and a half laps is all I'm getting out of that. So that's uh, every five laps you got a pit. Ouch. Well, that's just gonna fuck my time up. I wanna see what I'm gonna get for a top speed in that straightaway. The, with the nitro, I would have probably hit, you know, 350, 360, but without it. Took forever for that driving line to show up, so that's laggy. Was the video quality laggy? My internet's getting upgraded here, but it's gonna take a few days. That's fine. There's a lot of cars in this game that I could care less about. I spent money on cars that are just garbage. I wouldn't mind getting half of my money back. 275. Wow. 280. I did get up to 285-ish. But, either way, man, nobody wants to fucking play with me, man. Like, I go into online and fucking people kick me out of the lobby as soon as I come in. And then fucking I start a game, they all join and leave before the game even starts. Fuck, you know, I'm not taking that personally at all. <laughs> just, yeah. All right, fuck online, man. GT game for you cold Accioni out the car sometime.
No, I don't know, man. This is a horsepower, under 304 horsepower. Nitro was allowed. Well, I got to bring down the horsepower. under 304. Say anything about performance points, just horsepower.
Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked that up this morning. My god, my fucking eyesight is shit. Hold on a second. The scenery in this game. Yeah.
I like this little car. I don't know how well it's going to do. On this race. Oh, shit. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. <coughs> I give myself a second to get used to the feel of this after driving the McLaren for the last three hours. I'm not going to get more than nine laps out of this thing with these tires, I don't think. My eyesight's really bad, man. I don't know what the fuck. All my glasses on and everything's still really blurry. I feel like I'm watching 480p. I thought I had a, you can't put a, maybe you can't put a fin on the back of this thing? Do I not have a fin on the back of this? Hold on a second. Can you not put a fin on the back of this car? Sure you can. For some downforce? Just a second. You can't. Fucking nothing. All right. All right. Back to the race. Oops. Wrong spot. Maybe the soft tires might be the better choice. I'm on medium, but that's the thing. I'm not used to these um, sport tires is the problem. Is, that's, that's, that's why I'm having some trouble here. All right.
not even coming close to catching these guys. They're pulling away on me. pulling away on me, dude. So much for this fucking race. <clears throat> Not gonna do an hour of that. Fuck. It doesn't even pay very well when you win it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a fucking hour race, I'll collect a million and a half. Too bad. Hmm. I do like the long endurance races, but. What the fuck is the payout on that? It doesn't even say. Or does it? What do you get for winning? Nothing? It doesn't say. There's no prize here. Well. Maybe you get a car if you win them all. That's what it is. I have to fucking win all of these. That's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. To get a car. I'm gonna take a break for a bit, man. I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I'll feed the dog, take the dog for a walk. Uh, we'll be back on later. I'll probably play a different game, I think. 
kind of getting tired of Gran Turismo. Who knows what I'll play. But something else. Thanks for hanging out, man. Be cool.